What's going on guys, Rodrigo here, Breakfast Club CTG, we back in this beat. Today I'm going to be going over how you guys can make your own DIY plyo box with no cutting, no saw necessary, just a drill. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through the whole process, what I did to build it, and how it can basically just level up your home gym. Let's get into the video. Guys, it's the next day now. We've had slight changes of plans, but I'm super pumped on it because I know you guys are gonna like it. I'm gonna start off today with a one mile warm up and then into a workout on the bike erg, which I'll show you guys, and then we're gonna do lifting. And I really want to emphasize a body part today, which is gonna be the rear delt. So I'm gonna show you guys how to hit the rear delts while working out at home. After that, we're gonna go to the store and get going on this project, man. So stay tuned. Let's get it. All right guys, so the reason why I'm running today alongside the bike erg, I'm only doing a mile to warm up for the bike erg, but also I wanna get more time on these shoes. So yesterday they kind of felt a little uncomfortable, but I think I just need to break them in because they're a little bit tighter. But one mile run right now, then work out on the bike erg, then a workout, and then we're gonna get going on the project. Let's go. <laughs> Alright guys, that's gonna do it for the workout. It was 12 rounds, one minute on, one minute off. Got spicy real quick. I was managing right around 17 to 18 calories per per round, so I'll take it, man. It felt good, super sweaty. Huh. Let's go get this workout. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's all sweat, man. I am drenched. Yeah, snow, can you guys see? I'm freaking drenched, man. I think we'll get you sweating real quick. Thank you. 
guys that's the workout i hope you guys enjoyed if the format's a little off man just do yourself a favor go over to instagram and follow me there i post the daily swipe workouts every day you don't want to miss them so today it's more of like a project building type of day so it, the the format of the you know it's not full screen workouts it's just because it's not a workout video day but i still want to throw a little bit of it in here so quick post-workout meal shower and then go get started on the project Pickup number one, let's go. Also picking up a little whiteboard to add to the garage gym kit, so we're gonna install that too. So six piece total, two up top, two on side, two on the other side, one in the middle. Seven piece total. What you guys are gonna need besides that is gonna be a power drill. You're gonna need an eighth inch drill bit and you're gonna need five eighths inch screws. These are just regular deck screws. I think the box was like $3. And then an eighth inch drill bit. Basically, we're gonna pre-drill our hole because it's plywood. We run the risk of stripping the wood, splintering it, and just breaking it. So we're gonna pre-drill the holes and then screw our screws in. But a drill bit, I know this is a very simple DIY video and but if you don't have a drill, like I didn't have one, I just borrowed one from a friend. So just borrow one, hit your neighbors up. Someone in the neighborhood has to have a drill and I'm sure they'll let you borrow it. So just do that. If you don't have the drill bit, I think this costs like maybe a dollar or two for the actual bit. And then the little screw, the screw bit actually comes in here for three bucks. So that's a deal. So that's what you're gonna need. Let's go ahead and get into the wood. All right guys, so we got all the pieces laid out. So you're basically gonna have seven pieces. This piece right here, 30 inches by 24 inches, two of them. The next piece right here is gonna be 18 and a half by 24. These last two right here are 28 and a half by 18 and a half, and then this is your center supports. These right here are gonna be the outsides. This is gonna be the center support. You absolutely need that. That one is gonna be 18 and a half by 22 and a half. Basically, this bad boy is gonna stop you from going through the middle of the box and eating crap, and no one wants that, so make sure you get one and don't leave it out. That's gonna be crucial. Let's go ahead and start putting all this together. All right, guys, so I got my eighth inch drill bit here. The first two pieces we're gonna do are the 30 by 24 and the 18 and a half by 24, and we're gonna do those flush together, and yeah.
right guys, as you can tell, we got all four sides built, basically the shell of the box. The outside longer pieces are those 30 by 24 inch pieces. This side right here is the 18 and a half by 24. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one of the bottom pieces in here. It's gonna fit flush inside of this. Once we do that, then we're gonna go ahead and do our center support. But that's, I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. So this is gonna be the 28 and a half by 18 and a half. So this is gonna go right in here. So it should, it should fit pretty flush up against this. So, boom. So it's gonna go in there just flush. Go ahead and drill it, same process for everything else. This is gonna be the bottom piece. All right guys, so really quickly what I did was I just placed that piece of wood over it and then it went all the way down to the bottom. I just literally stuck my foot in here, pressed it up against this. And now all I'm gonna do is just have someone step on this, make sure it's all flush and then drill the holes at the bottom and then secure it in place. And then our center support is gonna be going right in here, boom. So now our center support is in here and it literally just goes in. You just put it in halfway, it fits nice and snug, push it all the way to the bottom. And now I'm gonna go ahead and place the top piece and drill it in. So actually what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and drill the sides in and screw it in. And then I'll put the final piece up top. But yeah, this was 28 and a half from here to here. So I just put it in the middle right around like 15 inches, which should be good. And yeah, man, we going. All right guys, so I highly urge you to do pre-drill your holes. The screws go in a lot easier. It just makes it a whole lot cleaner and a lot smoother. That should go away whenever we drill it in with the screws. But check this thing out, man. I'm ready to jump on it. Let's finish screwing her in. Well, boys and girls, that's our bio box. Let's give her the first, first spin. enjoyed this DIY video making your own DIY plyo box at home with minimal equipment literally all you need is a drill which your neighbor your grandma your uncle your brother your brother's dad's grandma's uncle has so go ahead and 
Try this out yourselves. I'm worn out. I'm already winded from just that little demonstration testing this thing out. Another thing you guys can do is get a sander and just sand the edges here. In case you guys do catch a shin, it won't be as rough. So just go ahead and sand the edges down to whatever your liking is. I'm probably gonna leave it like this. Also what you can do is if you have a, a drill with a hole drill bit, all you have to do is drill out like a big hole and then sand it out and then you got handles for it. Cause I know this is gonna be pretty big and it's kind of heavy to be honest. So drill a, a little handle in the sides of these things and you'll be good to go. Sand it, cut out the hole for the handles. And if you guys want, paint it, paint it with chalk paint if you want. You can stencil on the heights, the design, whatever it may be. But this is an awesome, awesome piece of home gym equipment that's super affordable, super easy for anyone to make. And honestly, I'm not really that experienced, a bunch of tools and stuff, but we managed to get this thing done and it works like a charm. So yeah, man, stay tuned for some workouts on this thing. Uh, just uh, how it's holding up in a few months. And uh, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new here, I would highly appreciate it if you guys hit that like button. And if you guys like what you see, hit that subscribe button, man. More garage gym equipment, DIYs, and just workouts to come, as well as nutrition tips and recipe videos, man. So hit that subscribe button, man. So pumped you guys are following along the journey. So pumped you guys are here. If you guys have any questions, either drop them in the comments. All right, guys, if you guys have any questions, feel free to just send me a DM over on Instagram. I would love to just send you guys like a voice memo or like a little video message. It's a lot easier to type it out, a lot of big old essay, and I love interacting with you guys. So just go over there, uh, shoot me a message if you have any questions. Stick around, let me know what you guys wanna see more of. If you guys wanna see more DIY projects or just different types of things for the garage gym. Let me know, man. If you guys need help with your training and nutrition, I'd love to help you guys out. Apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching. The link is in the description. That's gonna do it for this video. Breakfast Club CTG, we have this beat. We have this beat.